I made a couple of changes to my uh, new step deck trailer yesterday. Uh, first of all, now I have this uh, Dunnage, Dunnage uh, basket. So it's bolted to the frame. So it consists of basically three pieces. This one here, this metal bar for stability. All right, and the other one on that, that end. And the way it works is you put timbers in here and uh, only put a strap over them and then there's a little latch here basically you open you pull up and this slides yeah this slides like this and that's how you you know you put timbers in here but because this is exactly uh, eight feet like the inside space is eight feet so I don't think I even need to put any any straps in here and the second change was this rubber on the floor and now of course the trailer looks weird uh, it was pretty expensive Wow, we even left some washes in here. It was expensive, I wanted to do it myself, but it's too much work and you need special hardware. You see they use these big washers uh, with bolts and they had to drill. Uh, they had to pre-drill each hole before putting the, the screw in. And I know it doesn't look too good, but see, at least now my trailer is protected from the dock plate on the back, right? And then I left it open here because I'm not too concerned about the steel. Plus, aluminum here was, uh, there's aluminum underneath here, right? So the idea was to protect aluminum, but I still wanna, you know, be able to uh, haul loads with this trailer, right? So that's why we left this space between the the uh, rubber panel so that I can put, you know, timbers like a four by four. I can put, yeah, something like a support. Otherwise, it would be it wouldn't be level, right? And this is a very strong rubber. Uh, it is a little bit worn, but. Like it's it's not you know too rigid. I mean I I think uh, we wanted to flip it, but then the other side uh, this one is stronger because it has these uh, uh, I see ridges and uh, ribs, and if they try to put a skid, it'll still slide. I think yeah because it's not exactly uh, the, there's not too much friction. I feel like, yeah, some pieces are a bit don't look too good, but the majority are pretty good. So, so that's what I did to my new trail. <laughs> well, hopefully the uh, the nuts will not be in the way. Well, you know, they they all in a in a in a in the same positions, right? So it's always uh, if I let's say if I'm holding some skids, uh, we can always just move them a, li a little bit, right? To uh, to avoid the uh, the heads of the screws. I don't think it should be such a big big deal, especially since I have uh, all this space for uh, timbers, you know. Normally, I'm gonna, of course, I'm, I'm putting timbers under everything, but with that uh, last uh, disaster load of uh, scrap, it was not possible, and you saw what happened. So. Yeah, and it looks a bit better on the front because here I don't have. I uh, see I have D-rings here, right? I have D-rings and these ones, so I didn't, I didn't want to block them that's why we cut the, the panels like this and of course 
because they they laid like this that's why it was much more work right so you had you needed much more um, uh, screws but if I would put it across uh, it wouldn't be practical you know because then uh, if, if I load a skid it'll, it, it'll sit at an angle otherwise of course I could have just put two of these they're 39 inches uh, uh, wide but again I, I, I cannot block this right so I would put them like this. in the middle of the trailer I don't know I think this way is better at least I can use some timbers yeah here on the front on the upper deck I don't have D-rings and we just uh, did the same thing spacing for uh, timber right and these I think like 92 inches wide and I can still put a timber in here so well call me crazy but I'm done with that with that aluminum floor probably I'll never buy a trailer with the aluminum floor again uh, oh and I asked uh, the guy I was at the dealer yesterday right I asked him uh, if uh, wood floor would be more expensive and he said uh, uh, it's pretty much the same price but it weighs uh, the trailer would weigh about 500 pounds more with a wooden floor and I still have to fix this uh, this little thing turned out to be uh, difficult to repair because a uh, few shops now carry steel rub rail you know the dealer didn't have it this part one well, that plus their welder was on vacation for a week so I, I couldn't wait so I called another dealer and they said well the the smallest amount of rub rail we can order is 24 feet and this is like this part the entire part here right because here it's, it, it breaks I said I don't need 24 feet you know? I just need this piece just cut it here and here and install the new one and that's it and then turns out this rub rail you see the the, uh, the design see they have these ridges right so it's it's kind of uh, the tape sits kind of recessed you know it has this special profile it's not flat uh, I was supposed to see the guy uh, this morning in uh, Kitchener they might order but again that's they say 24 feet and they said yeah this would be difficult and difficult to fix so they said just forget it leave it like this just you know I just want to replace the, the, the rail and I wish uh, I had aluminum rail then it would be easier like everyone everyone has aluminum rail but you have steel rub rail you're in trouble well that's a quick update on my uh, new 53 foot uh, three axle uh, step deck from Cambridge this was uh, Sergey Drachev thanks for watching